Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Gonna do a quick little walk around and just a short review of the trailer. I've had a few questions about it and I always get asked when I'm driving in places because it's kind of unique and not like way big like most trailers. It's like a little off-road trailer. All right, so my trailer is a ROG Encore 12RK. They have a bunch of different versions. Uh, they're just like little off-road trailers that are designed to go places the big ones aren't. All right, we'll start with this little storage compartment here. Got a lot of stuff in it. Um, your battery is located underneath the bottom of this storage compartment, but it's pretty big. It goes almost the full length of the trailer. Or the full width of the trailer, sorry. And then underneath is your battery. Um, I do have an inverter installed, a Renogy inverter. And then I also have... Uh, Level Pro Mate to help me level. I think it's pretty awesome for leveling. Just so you can see on your phone if things are level or not. So you got two doors on this thing, one on each side. So uh, there's no standing room in here, but you can definitely sit. Uh, the beds fold into a couch. It came with a couch bed combo originally, but it was super uncomfortable, so I've changed it. You've got a bunch of storage space up top. Um, you've got lights and all the storages. A little spot for a TV if you're going to put one in there. I don't, I don't plan on it. Uh, you've got basically all your lights here. Um, I put these little flaps on because these are super bright. And at night they're hard to sleep because this is all bright blue. So I have these little sample leather things that my wife put little stickies on them so they can stick little Velcro stickies. So you've got storage up there as well. Like I said, lights in all the storage. There's two lights above the bed. There's your plugs. You have USB on your 12 volts on both sides where the cords are. I might got them covered in socks, like I said, because USB things are freaking bright in this thing. So. One cool thing is on each corner you have these ports that are connected to uh, just a 12 volt port that are connected to the switches inside here that I showed you. Um, so if you ever want to mount like lights or any accessories you want to mount to this thing, you can add a bunch. So, um, does come with some good tires. I swapped the tires out for some higher speed tires. These are truck tires, just so I can speed down the freeway. Um, you've got your regular port to plug in for your propane stove there. You've got a two prong plug here. Another power port on the side here. And you get the double door for the kitchen back here. So you get a little tube burner stove, sink, faucet on here. You can see what your tank's at if you want. I don't have any water in it now because I'm still dry camping because it's still cold for winter. Your water pump. Lights again. You get lights. Lights up inside there. All your regular lights. Leave the fridge on. Then I put a 230-270 awning on top so it comes out and goes all the way around that side so we have an awning across this back side. It's too windy to put it out and show you guys it. but And then I have a, this is a magnetic camera I got off of, backup camera I got off of Amazon. Things friggin' sweet. Solar charges. And then I can see where I'm going on by myself. I don't have to worry about people running into things when no one's there to spot me back in this trailer into spots. I've taken this thing in a few sketchy spots for sure up in the Uintas. It's been really good, I like it. All right, this is the side of it over here, this side. I've got an Overland Vehicle Systems shower slash changing slash bathroom area that folds out, comes down, it's too windy to show you. This is where you fill the water tank, huge water tank. The water tank is in the whole wall between the inside and your kitchen, the whole wall is the is your fresh water tank. And then here's where the your uh, water plugs into, so you can shower. That comes up. So it does not have a water heater, uh, so you have to just take a quick cold one, that or you buy an accessory for the heater. So same thing on this side. You got your rack up top there. Inside here, um, this does have lighting underneath everywhere too, which I don't, I'll try to get a video shot of that for you guys, but it does have a cool under, under lighting. So 
little light switch for this side. And then inside here, a really big storage compartment. And that's where all your breakers and stuff are. So. And over here, where you've got where your heater exhaust comes out, you have uh, your cable port if you're gonna do your TV. So uh, this is for your solar connection if you're gonna do solar. And then you have your 30 amp port if you are plugged in. I never plug in, I always run just off the batteries for 12 volts, I don't use the 110 system. Um, this side over here, I've done a few modifications to it. So um, I put on a different raise and lower just because this one's gonna go to a drill, it's way easier, it comes off, I like it a lot better. And then I did put on uh, the specialty hitch so it can pivot both directions. So I'll have a link in the description, but just so when you're off-road, your trailer can turn all the way one direction and your truck can turn the other direction and it'd still be fine. And then propane tank, I did put a bigger tank on this thing so it came with a small one originally. So, but I like to be set for long periods of time. Your spare wheel, you do have to get a full-size spare. So that's the tires that originally came on this. Would have been three of those tires. All right, that's it. I really like that trailer. It's a pretty sweet trailer. So you can just drop and go whenever you want. Super light, 3,500 pounds total, max GBW. So it can be pulled by a lot of different vehicles, Jeeps and smaller vehicles. So it's been a great little thing. I like it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Uh, smash that subscribe button, please. Thanks, guys.